We had many eruptions since 2021 in the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland. They started in the March with the eruption of the Fagradesvio volcano, followed by the Meradillo and the Little Horto volcano, which erupted in a sequence along the plate boundary in that area. This is a new volcanic system. Then we had the eruption in the Grindavik Sorsengi area, first one. And the second one, which actually invaded the, uh, one of the defensive walls, and the third one just in February, which uh, surrounded the Swartzengi Blue Lagoon um, power, geothermal power plant and the spa, and caused the cutting of the road, bursting of the pipes, and damage to the infrastructure in that area, which caused uh, delays in the delivery of the electricity power and the uh, uh, you know, hot water for maintaining of the uh, structures, including the roads there. The plate boundary in this area is well known. We know that is the plate boundary, the volcanic system, and where it happened, and the cracks, previously existing cracks, fault lines, and the older eruptions, craters of the Fort Sundunka, for example, are well known. We can use this knowledge to actually, for the future, develop a method and uh, mitigation plan to actually stop the damage to the town of the Grindavik and the assets that we have there, including the uh, geothermal power plant, uh, Blue Lagoon Spa, the road which is uh, connecting the area. As a geologist who have done studies of many areas in the world, including what I have done in Iran, and studying the aerial photograph, this was before the age of the internet, so aerial photographs you could study only on the negatives. I have encountered a lot of uh, structures like this, what you see now in this Google image, that has been built by the Iranians over thousands of years to stop the fluids, in this case water, flood water, uh, and being wasted, gone to the lowlands. They use these uh, berms or walls to store and feed the underground, uh, you know, uh, irrigation channels that they have built there underground for hundreds of kilometers. And this is a method that I suggest that we use also in the uh, area of the Reckoness Peninsula along this Swartzengi volcanic system to actually stop this. There are many studies by the Iranians on this field. This is an 11th century book. Uh, about the uh, hydrology. This is a, a book about the hydrology and how to actually uh, find water, stop water, uh, direct water, measure the distances, measure the heights, mountains, and even some inventions that the person who has written this book has done uh, for his time is very uh, advanced in that sense. We can use the technology that we have now in a better sense to build such a structure. When you look, for example, in this sentinel image, we can align our uh, berms or walls, defensive walls, along the where almost vertical or perpendicular to the uh, tract of the uh, cracks and fault lines. Each one of these will do stop any of these eruptions which happen along its course. And then we can direct them to go around the town of the Green Dubic, those areas that actually can be stopped directing and trapping the lava in between the uh, two highlands of the Thorbjörn uh, Swartzengi and the one to the lowest uh, east, toward the southeast, lowest part of the uh, right side. And then the central parts of the town, which is damaged, I suggest, be kept as an open-air museum. It should be abandoned. You cannot do safely things there. It can be a tourist attraction on its own, the first on its own. And uh, the parts that we have abandoning, we can build them around these two areas, to the east and the west of the town, and use the harbor in the middle as the, you know, fishing, uh, for the fishing industry, for the companies who have the, this is a plan, of course, we have to study the contours. I've tried to do much of, as much as I can by studying these satellite images. This is a suggestion I make to actually save the Grindavik. This is for saving the town.